I've got another new duplication exploit for you guys today. So people have figured out another way to abuse the one we just did yesterday and make it way better. No more worrying about deleting items. No more worrying about shifting items around your inventory. Just duplicate items forever to get as many as you want. It's extremely easy to, to do. You don't need any skill to do it or anything. So the old one was that you could use a glider or shield. And what you do is you jump and press A while holding the shield out in order to slide like that. And what you do is you open the menu while in the air like that while, while sliding but haven't hit the ground yet and the, what i'll do is make it so you can't actually hold items but the game will still let you try to hold items like this um and so the old way was shifting an item to the bottom picking one and then another and all this stuff and it was complicated well it turns out you don't actually need to do any of that so what you can do is i can take like five diamonds for example and you'll see i have 23 now okay and before that obviously i had 28. all you have to do is press B to close the menu and press Y to reorganize your inventory at the exact same time. That's it. And you might wonder, like, I remember I wondered when I did this, maybe because it was just shifting my inventory, it was stealing items from another item somewhere else. No, it wasn't. I looked through it, didn't do that. So literally just B and Y, same time. And then I look at my inventory and I still have 28 diamonds. So now I have 33 diamonds. So now I can do this again. I can hold five of these. B and Y at the same time. And now I have 38 diamonds. And you can just keep doing this and keep doing this and keep doing this. Although I just realized I need to jump before doing this. But you can keep doing that, keep doing that, keep doing that. And duplicate items faster than pretty much anything else in the game. I can't imagine there'll ever be a faster way than this. I mean, I guess in theory there could be, but that that it'd be crazy. I think this is literally gonna be the end. This is this is the end game of duplication in this game, guys. So uh another thing you can do though to make this even faster. So uh what we can do is we could it will blow your shield up to keep doing that uh, the shield thing so you, what you'll want to do instead i like that's fun is to take a spring and then drop a spring and also we're gonna talk in a second there's other ways to do some other things we're gonna talk about too though so there's a lot more to this but what you can do is take a spring hit it go up pull out the glider and then you can do it in bur like in uh batches so we can go over to the diamond and we can hold five hit both at the same time and then we can hold five, hit both at the same time, and then we can get five, hit both at the same time. Now, don't do more than 15 when you have the spring out, because you can only 20 items out, and it'll delete the spring, potentially, when you do the, th the fourth batch. But then you'll hit that, and you'll just repeat by getting on the spring, getting on the glider, and you do batches of three. That's another way that you could do this, potentially, that will be fun. Now, there's some other things. We can actually duplicate Zonai devices, but it's a little more complicated. And also, uh, we can duplicate critters, which is hilarious, which one that's really crazy then is to duplicate fairies. So we can take a fairy and hold it and then both at the same time. Okay, didn't mean to do it like that. I might, you have to do, um, you have to be doing this, I forgot. Jump and then shield and then do this and then hold a fairy, both at the same time, grab the fairy before it flies away. And now I have three fairies and I can do this so this is basically an invincibility exploit. If you don't know, you literally can't die when you have fairies in your inventory. So now we've also, by coincidence of this, figured out an invulnerability exploit because you can get 999 fairies if you want and then be literally invincible. So on top of infinite rupees, we have infinite fairies, so invulnerability. And then there's the Zonai devices. So Zonai devices are a little bit more complicated. So what you're going to want to do is just get somewhere where you can't spawn as a Zonai device. You'll say take out and say you can't take that out here. Well, if you go to a wall like this, where there's enough space to the left and the right, you gotta make sure there's like an actual flat wall that has a lot of space or else it doesn't quite work. And you wanna get near the wall, but not all the way up against the wall. At least that's how I had the best luck with it. So you get something like this. And once you get in a position like this, then you go to your inventory and you take out device and then press B and Y at the same time, just like the other one. And it'll glitch out kind of lag. And that's how you know it did it right. It, is it For whatever reason, it'll make it lag out basically. And then it'll duplicate. Now we have 35 fans. I can take these seven shock emitters. BY. Now I have 14 shock emitters. I can take these frost emitters. Put in eight. And now I have, I don't even know where they went. There are 16 frost emitters. So you can use this for zone eye devices. It's just a little tricky. You know, it's got to get this near the wall, get close to it, but not too close. Again, you'll know it worked right when it lags on your way out of the menu. It'll be kind of weird and it'll go really slow. So that leaves us with just a few little things like where do we get fairies? Where do we get diamonds and stuff? I can quickly explain that. Goron City, you can buy diamonds for a thousand rupees. You can also apparently find it in this shrine over here. And I, th I'm pretty sure you can get one from the chest in this shrine as well. Don't quote me on that one though. And so that's ways to get diamonds so you can duplicate money. As for fairies, you generally find them on the sky islands. 
I know you can find them at this shrine right here, which you can get to from the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower and gliding over, I think. And then you can go there, and every few days, you, or every few hours, you come in there and get, like, three fairies. To get a fairy, you just want to crouch walk over to it, and then last second, run and jump and grab it or whatever. Or just run, depending on how low it is to the ground, just grab it. And that'll get you your fairies, that'll get you started, and that'll get your diamonds, that'll get you started. As for Zonai devices, um, I don't know, I can just go through some of mine in case you want to, if you want to know where some of these things are. So there's batteries and fans and things. I never got the last one there. Um, there we got states, cards, cannons. We have other stuff there. Uh, we have the beam emitter right here, and then we have, you know, cannons and time bombs and stuff right there. Construct heads and stuff. Um, so if any of these are helpful to you, there's one in the depths over here that has all the stuff for cars, which is really helpful. And then hover stones. The only one I know of in the entire game was right here. Uh, that one's kind of a pain to get to. You want to make a flyer to get there or something. Um, so that's where a lot of devices are. Sleds are in some of the ones that's top left and stuff. So you can go there and get whatever zone devices you want to get started. Big batteries are a rare drop. Um, you get them from a few different places. I can't remember. I got one inside of a shrine once. I can't remember where I got them, to be honest. But they're out there, and once you get one, you're good. You can also buy them once you fully upgrade your battery. And then you can buy them with a crystallized charge at the guy that you upgrade your battery at for 30. So that's ways to get all these cool things that you can duplicate. So that's it, guys. That's the new way to duplicate. Uh, you can't duplicate weapons or armor or anything like that. But you can duplicate uh, any material and any Zonai device. So... Uh, for now, I think that's probably as good as it's going to get, guys. I can't imagine going faster than that. So we made 500,000 rupees per hour, by the way, with doing it the old way. I'm not even going to do it on this one. I don't care. But, like, it's probably a million rupees per hour now because this is, like, probably twice as fast. Uh, maybe faster. So let's just say a million rupees per hour plus invulnerability plus whatever the hell else you want to duplicate. So there you guys go. Hopefully this will be the final time I have to cover duplication glitches. But either way, now you know how to do the best and the greatest duplication exploit in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.